That does not agree with the glory of God in your life. Right on this exalted altar, as a signal of authority and power, I change that report in the name of Jesus. As I whip this clutch, receive your miracle. 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 Thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all his commandment, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Huh? And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shalt thou be in the city. Blessed shall that be in the field. Yeah. Blessing, blessing, blessing like that. Then if you go to verse 7, say, The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. Yeah. They shall come out against thee one way and flee seven ways. Yeah. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in the storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give it thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and walk in the way, in his ways. Let me go to 13 because of time. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above holy and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Father, thank you for the reading of your word. In your word, there is power. In your word, there is life. Let every man, every woman, boy, get small, big, young, and hold under the sound of my voice. Be quickened by the power in your word. Do the miraculous. Take back your glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone that hear the sound of my voice, we shout it louder. Wherever you are, you can hear the sound of my voice. Can I hear a resounding name like a ton? Yeah. Quickly this morning, I want to preach a subject I tie to the God of supernatural greatness. Oh my God, these people are not excited. The God of supernatural greatness. We have all kinds of greatness. There are greatness that comes from occultic powers, occultic means. There are greatness that comes from the marine world. There are greatness that comes from being a member of a secret society. But I'm talking about super natural greatness. The one that make it rich and added no sorrow. That greatness is coming upon somebody this morning. If your amen can be better than that, you are the one I'm talking about. The God we serve is the God of supernatural greatness. When he chooses to make you great, no power can stop you. And you see, when men cannot understand what is going on in your life, they call it juju. We are living in a world that any good thing that happened to a man, men attribute it to charm. But hear me, child of God. If men understand how God makes you great, they will destroy it. We have light in this church. There are lights everywhere. If I do not know the source of this light, I can't put it off. You are not with me. When men know how you come about your greatness, they will destroy. But if they cannot understand you, they call it juju. But hear me. Supernatural greatness is not the kind of greatness that men understand. You save to pay house rent. 
you save to buy car. Some people even save to build house like a hair. But when we are talking about supernatural greatness, you just think about it and it happened. In my little walk with God, to the glory of God with all humility, there is nothing on that heaven and earth that men use money to achieve that God has not given to me. Talk about houses, talk about cars. I've given out several cars. Yet, no charm anywhere. When men cannot understand, they say, don't mind him, Miss Juju. Even those that say that we aspire, they are the ones that aspire. I'm still standing. You are not getting the mercy. The God of supernatural greatness will be your God today. You are not sounding as if you believe me. The God of supernatural greatness will be your God. And one man saw me in a Sabah. I was at a Sabah airport. And when he saw, he said, ah, I used to know you in Calabar. I look at him like this. And I face where I'm going to. I'm talking about the present with the people who are present. He's talking about the past with the people who are the past. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Forget the things of the past. Neither I remember the things of the old. He said, I will do. We are talking about now. We are in the now. People that still dwell in the past, they don't move forward. Talk about now. What is on ground now? You know they understand. Eh? Like Ibo Mango say, Odish, you know they leak. What's in the ground now? You are not getting what I'm saying. Supernatural greatness is not fair. When it comes on you, it gives you three eggs. Speed. Speed to catch up with people who are there before you. And you overtake them. Strength and stability. You will be stable in life. Almost every day of my life, from Monday to Sunday, I preach. Yet, I've never fallen in hospital bed. Strength. Because greatness comes with the blessings that make it rich and added no sorrow. Psalm 16 verse 4 says, The sorrow of those that run after false God shall be multiplied. If the sorrow is coming instead of greatness, check how you become great. That's why we call it supernatural. If anybody is telling you that if you don't saw your hand, if you don't belong to any secret society, you cannot become great. I stand here to correct you. Olatunde is not a member of any secret society. God is blessing me. If anybody tells you that if you don't manipulate somebody, collect their cars, collect their houses, you cannot become great. Since I started this work, I have never collected anybody's car, but I've given out more than seven cars. I am talking about supernatural greatness. The one that make it rich and added no sorrow. In this covenant day of greatness, in this covenant service of greatness, I speak as an authority. In the name of Yeshua Amashia, the one that died and rose on the third day. Even if they say there is no more greatness in your family from today, become great. In your business, become great. In your finances, become great. Sit down. Sir, you don't need to beg before you become great. You are not with me. That's why I want to encourage you after this service, after this meeting, stand for something. Stop running after those uncles. Stop running after those brothers. There are people that have come into my life that say, without them, there is nothing. I would die with you. Hey, you are the best. You are the this. They have long gone. I'm still standing. What do you think will happen if I put my hope in them? You are not with me. Stop trusting your uncle in abroad. Instead of looking abroad, look above. David said in Psalm 1 to 1, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the law, the one that maketh heaven and earth. If you are a member of this commission, you have a covenant with greatness. Yeah. The only thing I want to advise you, wait for your time. Somebody is riding car, you are envy the person. Leave them, they can't shine your shine. The sky is so wide enough. To contain all the bed without colliding. When I was passing through wilderness experience, the particular house I was living, that when rain fall, water will carry everything up. Before month end, the landlord knock on knock. My money, my money, 
Oh God, everyone that is passing through poverty today, I cause that plague in your life to die. Sit down. What the man called house that is coming to share my money, eh? It's not as good as my office. My office is 10,000 times better than that room. And yet, hey God, where will I get 20 something thousand to pay? Hey God, where will I get so so to pay? But when my season came, I built what would build that kind of house 10 times. I decree upon you. In the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in this covenant of greatness, become great in the name of Jesus. In your family, become great in the name of Jesus. In your home, become great in the name of Jesus. In your place of work, become great in the name of Jesus. See that. Listen to me. When God wants to make you great, sometimes he starts with you with very little. He starts with you very small. That's why I want to encourage you, child of God. Whatever God has committed into your hand, be faithful with it. Do you know the meaning of faithful? To be faithful, meaning have a faith that is full in Christ. When you have a faith that is full in Christ, you will be committed to what he has given you. The book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 29. See thou a man diligent in his business. Diligent. He said he will stand before kings and not before me men. See thou a man diligent in his business business. He said, if we stand before kings and not before men, we have too much of lazy people. You can imagine I will wake up eight in the morning, drive around the town looking for where to buy the charge card. No shop has opened. Eight! 4 a.m. in Lagos, people are already on the streets. You get to bus and you are like Baba and you are like Baba. You go to you are like Baba. Losha, losha, losha. Cold water, cold water. Fire, you don't need it. I move out of my house. Eight. Nowhere to buy the charge card. Ha. And you say you want to prosper. You know they fall from roof. If nobody will change it, make you start. Wake up in your house. Leave your house very early. Go to your shop. If there is nothing to do, sweep everywhere. Do the cleaning. Pray and sit down. And begin to ask God for your customer. I told you the story of, of a, a particular man in law that will ask. So he graduated from university several years. Nothing was working. And on that prophecy, we said to him that God said you will prosper through cement. The man said, God says, cement, where will I get the money? He went ahead and bought two bags of cement. The father's compound, the front of the compound, he put a shop there and put the two bags of cement. Every morning he will wake up, sweep the place and sit down. In the night he will lock, he will go back home. Every morning until when his day comes. Because there is always a day for every shiny star to appear on the sea. When his day came, a particular malam who is the destiny helper came from nowhere and, and you know malams they put money in Ghana must go came with enough money and said we need trucks of uh, cement the wise man said we have it in our factory I just finished selling the one I have but if you need it urgently drop the money by this the malam dropped the whole money the man went to factory Elevant cement in the lorry and Dangote collected enough cement in and not filled up. He sold and refilled the shop, sold and refilled the shop. Today, he's still waiting for Malam. Malam, not come. Your destiny helper will locate you. I speak by the wind that gathered me. 
I speak by the oil that makes me what I am. Who is telling you that it's no miracle? If God has helped me, in the name of Yeshua Amashia, the one that died and rose on the third day, before the close of this year, let destiny help and look at you. Let destiny help and look at you. Let destiny help and look at you. Sit down. It's because you don't know who you are. That's why you engage in charm. Hear me? No pastor. I repeat, I am standing on the altar. Whether you are watching me via the satellite or you are under the sound of my voice. No pastor. Nobody. And if you are the deepia or the juju man that said you are helping me, come face to face. Come and challenge me. Nobody. God only decided to pick me from America and set my feet there. And those who said, people who don't know how the thing happened, they say, now, Juju, you, you know, get village. Go your village, collect the Juju. Come use them. Make see. And let's see how the thing they work. Whether not color or not white. Hear me, it's because you don't know who you are. When an Abali said he will make you great, Abali that said he wants to make you great, he won't pick it, wake up for money. Carry kata for loose. They are bomb bomb fly they pursue because of shit. Some of you, you are a man. They said if you don't become a gay, you can't prosper. You are a foolish man. Some of you, you are a woman. They said if you don't engage in lesbianism, homosexuality, we can't make you gay. You are listed to me. Your mate are beginning to use pampas, maxi pampas. <laughs> would a man like me pay me money to sleep with me from Hanus? A man like you cannot stop you. It's because you don't know who you are. Nonsense! It's against the order of creation. What you are doing is against the order of creation. That is not greatness. A particular young guy came to me he was using Maxi. It was from that man that I know that even old grown up guys use pampas. A man said, Be my wife. He rented two bedroom flat for him and bought him Benz 190. Ah, are you melody? Can, can you see the work of poverty? Benz 190. And because of two bedroom flat and 190, they spoil your hands. What is best? How much? Who is even using best 190 now? Eh? Where we have cars like Alfa Romeo. Eh? Where we have cars like Holy Spirit. Eh? Where we have cars like Evoke. They are giving you 190 to destroy your destiny. Only a Daru. It's because you don't believe it. Listen to me. Let me shock you. The people that came to pay you, they have seen that you have glory. Because the thing have not manifested, you think you will die like that. That's why you sell it out to them. Somebody said, okay, I'm a politician of so-so and so-so. You see those sisters following politics. Who tell you say politician be great man? He's sitting on somebody's money. That's why many of them leave office and they return to zero. Great men and women are people that started from the scratch and take it up. Because greatness in life is not a project, it's a process. A man will now go and join an occult, carry with him big belly, say take 10,000, sleep with me. You to say your cable, your cable don't burn, take it. Now hear me. If you say sleep with me, a drop of spam contains 500 million cells. They give you give them the drop, and they pay you 10,000 minus 10,000 from 500 million. Who is gaining? Who is losing? What you give them is a raw material they manufacture to, uh, to to process their own destiny to move forward. All the children in that thing they don't collect them. Some of you will come. That is, they say now fibro. No be fibro. Wait till you don't chop. Then they move. 
You see person with belly like this, he said, and daddy, but he doesn't touch me. He only said I should just rub his tummy and go. That rubbing, there is a transfer. There is a covenant. How would a man say, just rub my tummy and in the morning he pay you, say go. Ah, uh, they don't finish you while you are still moving. You are, in fact, you are a moving corpse. Those of you that have been coming to this place, where in this town have you found my b-word? Show me where you have found my b-word. Where in this town have you found my face? But yet, you cannot deny the proof. You can't deny the proof. It's God. When God is with you, go and stay in the interior of Akpabi. He will send men to you. A pastor came from Lagos and I told him I ordained so so and so so. I bounced many of them last year. And because I put them on suspension, they left. The man said, you mean that number left the church and you are still like this? He said, go and dance. God is with you. He said, I faced the same thing 15 years ago. Up to now, I have not recovered. I'm talking about covenant of greatness. When covenant of greatness begins to work for you, people come into your life, they go, but you don't feel their impact. Because you know why? God ordained purpose. God did not ordain men. So whoever he wants to use to help you, they will come. When they finish their work, they give way for somebody else to enter. It's because you don't understand the order of greatness. That's why you are running after one man. The Bible says, according to the number of our days, as he ordained help us. The minimum days Bible ordained for you is 70 years. And to every one year, attack 10,000 camp of angels. Put together one destiny carries 150,000 destiny helper. And you are still dying over one man. You are a sister. A man said he's not interested in you again. And you said you want to kill yourself. If you die, he will pour sand in your grave and he will continue his life. I want to die because of man. The people that I want to marry when I was going through that experience, one told me that Thomas Fierso Yeri, if they carry you, told me I go dodge them. But now at the drive for road, now they see them, they dodge them. She said she was going to dodge me because she does not have eyes to see. She does not know that this is a general in the making. Hear me? When I wanted to marry my wife, I said, if you miss me, you don't miss. You better marry me. I'll be putting you in front of posters. When I'm traveling abroad, they put your name there. Is she not there today? Make a quality decision and make it happen. Listen to me. If you are ready for it, God is committed to bring it to pass. This year, I make you great. Ah, whether you like it or not, become great. In the name of Jesus, become great. In the name of Jesus, become great. In everything you do, become great. In the name of Jesus, become great. If your amen can be louder, become great. See that? Can I shock you? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Promise me you will not tell anybody. Are you sure you will not tell anybody? If you cannot make it in Calabar, you can make it anyway. Do you know why? As long as you have something to offer, this town will vomit money for you. Your problem is that you are still carrying certificate looking for a job. Create one job. I love Frank's statement. He said, I have placed people on salary worth of about 200,000. Yet, I don't, that is my spirit. I said, become great in life. In the name of Jesus, become great. In the name of Jesus, become great. In the name of Jesus, become great. If you say amen, become great. If you say amen, become great. If you say amen, become great. If your amen can be louder, take it. See that? Hear me? When greatness begins to walk in you, you catch up with destiny. Did you know they carry better money come? I'm a Yoruba man. I know what I'm telling you. 
Juju know they carry better money. Go watch people when you do Juju. Look at the car where they drive. Even their belly self, they are not comfortable. You see them, they are belly and like pregnant woman. They sit down, they are not okay. You go to them for help, they can't help you because they are angry because of where the money came from. And you, where you don't follow them, do Juju. You won't follow them, chop Juju money. It's because you don't believe that you can become great. When I, I follow night boss to this town, the day I was coming to Calabar, I went to Oju Eleba. There is a vehicle that used to come to Calabar in those days. They call it FGN. I enter, I didn't have money for seats. They said they are putting me on attachments. I stand on attachment from Lagos to Calabar. I said, hit that the best way, and then my friend go and bounce me back. Bam. As they bounce me back, I bounce, give the one in the back, they push me back. But nobody can bounce me again. Ah, somebody under the sound of my voice, your time is coming. 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 If you say amen, your time is coming. Sit down. So, why am I sharing all this with you? I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I did not come to this town with silver and gold. I only came with the treasure inside me. All my friend that said, Calabar, you will die there. All of them are coming to visit today. All of them are coming to visit, including my family members. When I was going through with that experience,